It's what Teton County School Administrators call a very much needed bond that uh, would have helped them build two new elementary schools. But last night, the $19 million bond failed. Now, just one week before classes start, the district is scrambling to find ways to do without. Eyewitness News reporter Luke Jones went there today. It's not as if that measure were unpopular. On the contrary, more than half of all Teton County residents voted for that bond. Still, not the two thirds supermajority needed to pass. Teton County schools are becoming increasingly overcrowded. We're growing almost a whole classroom unit every year. A fact of life not lost on Jennifer Cook, principal at Victor Elementary, where students are actually being turned away. We are having to ask parents to bus their students to. The Driggs area, because we cannot accommodate all the numbers of the students that are showing up at our doorstep. It's just one of many sacrifices being made district wide. We're framing in some stage space to use as a classroom for this year. We're moving some of the elementary libraries out of the school. At Victor, some classrooms are being crammed with as many as 30 students. That um, decreases the academic ability of a teacher. They just require more adult supervision. The district says while this bond failed, they're optimistic they'll get the necessary funds in the future. The school board will be taking a lot of time to take feedback from the community and look at the information we have on how to move forward. And the superintendent tells me the school board will likely be taking up this issue at its next meeting, at which point they hope to hear from those who voted against the bond and why. In Driggs, I'm Luke Jones. The school board will meet September.